Arizona is not known for its freezing temperatures, but with youth hockey as popular as ever in the state, more desert kids are heading to the ice. My favorite part is shooting and stick handling. I like scoring goals. According to 2018 statistics from USA Hockey, registration for youth hockey in Arizona is up nearly 90% since 2013. It really is an emphasis that, that we go out there and grow the game. We are doing as much as we can to get youth involved in the sport. The state is filled with transplants who have brought the hockey fever with them. An Arizona native and 2016 top NHL draft choice, Austin Matthews, has youngsters believing they too can make it to the league. But perhaps the biggest assist to the growth comes from the Arizona Coyotes. Along with flagship youth programs such as the Little Howlers, the team also sponsors local high school leagues, donates equipment, provides financial support to ice rinks, and has plans to introduce a street hockey PE curriculum to schools. You shouldn't be trying to get them to watch hockey, you should get them to play hockey. Because if you have a hockey player, you have almost a guaranteed hockey fan. It's not about selling tickets, it's about investing into your community and, and showing that you care about it. The team has also partnered with Arizona-born and 2014 U.S. Women's Hockey Olympian Lindsey Fry to create Small Fries, a hockey program designed specifically for girls. People are excited about this, they see the value in it, and they see that, wow, we're, we're really growing the girls' hockey community from the bottom up, and that's something that's really special. Lindy Fry kept calling me smile, 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 smile. 56 young women graduated from the inaugural Small Fries program this summer, adding to the growth of girls hockey in Arizona, something up 31% from a year ago, according to USA Hockey. In Glendale, Jake Trivolsky, Cronkite News.